It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Dallas Cowboys and the Cleveland Browns. And it comes your way next on Madden NFL 25. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the home of rock and roll. Cleveland, Ohio and Cleveland Browns Stadium. Good to be with you, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson here in the booth. Greg, we got a couple of teams who love to throw the football. And you know how guys say, hey, we're not going against the other offense. We're going against the other team's defense. Greg, these star wide receivers, you know they're watching what the other guy does on the field here today. Oh, in their minds, there's no question. They are competing against one another. And I think that's what makes this league so fun is when these guys, they know each other. They study each other. They work together in the off seasons. A lot of times they're friends. On game day, there is no question. At the end of this one, yes, they want their teams to win. But when they put their two box scores up next to each other, there's going to be some bragging rights come this offseason. The veteran kicker, Dustin Hopkins, out to get things started. Off we go from Cleveland. Here comes a return from the clock. It'll be brought down past the 25. Piece of field position to start this drive. Cowboys coming out. As usual, Jack Prescott leading the way. Led the NFL in touchdown passes, Greg, a season ago. Already his ninth year at the helm for the Cowboys. There aren't many quarterbacks in this league who come under the microscope as often as this guy does. I mean, he isn't perfect by any means, but you can certainly do a lot worse than having him not up as your guy leading your offense. He has the athleticism to bail himself out of bad situations but also the arm talent to make every throw on the field. So as long as he protects the ball, that's been the biggest thing in his career. If he can do that, man, he's as good as they come in this league. On second down, it's down. A pass good by the veteran. That's Brandon Cooks. Here's Elliott, and he'll get about six there, setting up second down. Inside the 35. 16 yard pickup on that one. First down, Cowboys. 
This is how you drop your opening possession when you're on the road. The longer the drive goes, the quieter the crowd gets. Continue to mix in that run game. Let's see if they can finish off by putting this ball in the end zone. This one caught by C.B. Lamb. And he takes it down to the 15-yard line. That's catch three just on this drive. And it gets his team a first down. What they're looking at here is the spot of the football. Always tricky to get this exactly right. But what takes a few inches to make a big impact? So slow this down, find a landmark on the field, and determine where the spot should be. So that challenge, a successful one. On play action. Here's Dan. I don't hate the play call. The best opportunity to throw the ball down this close to the goal line is usually on first or second down. Like, the issue here is the quarterback has to know if my first read is not open, this ball needs to be thrown out the back of the end zone. You cannot take a sack this close to the goal line. It's back at the eight now for second and goal. Brandon Aubrey now for the extra point. The kick is good. The Cowboys will take a 7-0 lead. season with the Browns, eighth season in the league as Watson tries to get this Browns team going in this one. There was a time, and it wasn't very long ago, Mike, that this guy was trending towards becoming one of the best quarterbacks in the entire NFL. He has to find a way to get back to stacking strong performances, one after another, and keep his team in the hunt. It'll be interesting to see how this one plays out, but if he plays well, his team is always going to have a strong chance of winning. The 
it towards a bulldog. Here's Nick Chubb. And that won't get a whole lot. Maybe a yard. That's it. reliable player and I think everybody in this booth knows exactly what position that is here's first and ten out of the gun Watson give him 14 on that one it's a Browns first down and it doesn't really matter who you put on him, Mike. When you want to play one-on-one -on -one man coverage against a receiver like this, there's not a whole lot else you can do. It's hard to put help over the top because the ball's being thrown out by the sidelines. I like playing in and out. I like playing zone. Somebody underneath, somebody over the top. Share the responsibility. But that's not what they're doing. That's straight man coverage. Quarterback sees the matchup. There's no question where the ball's going to go. Once again, it's Chuck. And he'll get four on this one. Down inside the 40-yard line now. Third and six. From the shotgun, here's Watson. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. I say one of the most critical elements of a dynamic offense, Mike, is how efficient are you on third down? It's something these teams stress all week. There's an opportunity to continue to extend this drive. The defense wins this time and brings up fourth down. And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. The Cowboys offense ready now for their second drive. They lead 7 0 thanks to the touchdown on the opening drive. So, try to double up here. As they begin this drive first and 10. Now he takes off. That play had sack written all over it. So, that's a great job by the quarterback, not only escaping the initial pressure, even though he doesn't gain a whole lot, he's able to pick up some positive yards for what looked like a disaster in the start. Second and seven. Hand off here to Zeke. That was some good downhill running to get him about six yards and set up a much more manageable third down. convert on third down with a pickup of nine. Pick up a 
of three. So third down, forthcoming. to them, Greg, with his legs in this one. And we're starting to see, Mike, why this week this coaching staff told us they're encouraging this guy to do this more often. His ability to be a passer, but also a rusher, is an element to this offense that is hard for defenses to account for. Now, Aubrey, for the extra point. He's got it. And the Cowboys move out on top, 14 to nothing. Kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kicks away. To return is Naheem Hodge. And he's brought down right at the 35 yard line. Browns offense about ready to get going on their second possession. They're staring at a two touchdown deficit, 14 0. The score as the offense tries to regroup and get going with first and 10. Track him down inside the 40-yard line. Don't 
don't get that often during the season. First play of the drive picks up 29 yards. So, Mike, at the core of a successful zone replay is that the quarterback understands which defender is he responsible for. That is the defender they're trying to put in a bind. In this case, he chooses the runner, the quarterback pulls the ball, and he's able to take off for a big game. Watson, going to give it to Chuck. And he'll lean forward, getting this to about the 35. The veteran Eric Hendricks on the stop. Here's second and nine. Throwing is Watson. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. Shotgun snap to Watson. To the left side, he's got the Joku. And he's going to be taken down short of the marker. And that is going to set up an interesting fourth down decision. Troubles trying to contain this quarterback today, Mike. This time they go to the zone read. The defender goes after the running back, and the quarterback pulls it, keeps it himself, and has a huge gain for a first down. Najoku, the tight end, is the one in motion. Here's Chuck. Creates some space, but will not find much. He'll get a yard. He'll mark it at the three. Second and goal. Here's a run with their tight end. And he will fight his way to the end zone. Touchdown, Browns. Dustin Hopkins now to add the extra point. His kick is good. And the Browns are on the board. It's now 14 to 7. the kicks away. Avante Turpin on the return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. It just seems nowadays, Mike, there's so many running backs in the NFL that you can classify as being dual threats. Of course, we see them every week make their impact on the ground. But here in the first half, it's his ability in the passing game and do bulk of his damage as a receiving threat. Pull that one in. 
ball is brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. Offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. They'll start it here with a first and ten. Now Watson keeping this on his own read. And a good job defensively to rally to the ball. They hold him to a short game. Nice job by the defense. They had that one well read from the beginning, Mike. Someone's responsible for the running back. But the key here was the defender responsible for the quarterback. Stays with him, keeps him to a short game. Fake the handoff. Now Watson. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. This is why it's so critical that the quarterback and his intended target are on the same page. They got to speak the same language. When there's miscommunication, it leads to errant throws, and when errant throws lead to big missed opportunities. Throwing on third down, Watson. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. When you're willing to throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you know what that tells you, Mike? The decision to go for it on fourth down has already been made. If you're able to pick it up with yards after the catch, great. But if not, it's a fourth and short, and you give yourself a realistic shot of converting on this fourth down. And he's going to be knocked down before he can even think about returning that one. Whoa! So now here are the Cowboys. Their offense ready to make their way back onto the field. They'll begin with first and ten. Throw. He's got the open man, and that's Jalen Tool. And good yardage there after the catch to wind up with a gain of seven on first down. Here's second and three to go. Now Prescott. forcing third down. Pretty clear coming into this game that this offense felt that they had a distinct advantage running the ball. It was a matchup that they thought all week went in their favor, and so far the results indicate that they were spot on. Third and short. Prescott. We'll try to run for it. They get an even 20 on that one. That's good for a Dallas first down. Great job here by the quarterback on third and short, knowing that if nothing's there downfield, he can pick this up with his legs. And not only is he able to pick up the first down, he gets a whole lot more than that. Two minutes to make here in this first half. We'll have more from Cleveland after this. First down. In the middle of the field, it's taken by C.D. Lamb. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. Set 
second and a yard. Operating from the gun, here's Dak. The open man is Tobin. He's going to be taken down at about the 30. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. Halftime is moving, so the athletic training staff will get a chance to look them over during the break. before he's taken down. There's a third down and four. Again, Prescott to the air. He's got a receiver, and that's Lamb. And he's going to have the first down as he gets out of bounds, and Stop the clock as well. Offensively, landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown. They went for it all on that one and just a little bit off. Ball winds up hitting the ground. They've got to move forward. The opportunities are out there. Better execution, better location. They got some big plays in their future. To the air again. Prescott. The man, that's the veteran books. And the Cowboys are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down a pick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. Number one, second and goal. They'll run. Here's Elliott. And he will take this one across into the end zone. Ezekiel Elliott. Touchdown, Dallas. A lot of big bodies down there, but at the end of the day, the one that matters, the one with the ball, finds the end zone for the touchdown. Yeah, once that back gets the ball, Mike, he's just looking for a little crack of daylight, and he's thinking, I'm going to run into it and just hope I come out the other side. And in this case, the other side's the end zone, and they get six. Aubrey now for the extra point. He's got it. Cowboys will take a 21 to 7 lead. They didn't leave much time on the clock to put together a drive here at the end of the first half. And the kickoff's coming their way. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he decides not to bring it out. So they'll take over at the 30-yard line. 
the Browns offense going to get it one last time here late in the opening half. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. They will start it on the ground to run that clock. The Browns going to use the first of their timeouts here as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in half number one. Second and 11. They'll keep it on the ground here again. And he is not going to get away. Might have gotten a yard, but it will set up third down. just how fast he was able to get through his progressions his mind was able to process and go from one to two to three so quickly that he was able to get the ball to the right target on time and I think so often those two things are different being open is one thing being open and getting the ball on time that's what leads to success and that's what we saw here Here's a second and three forthcoming. Here's Watson. That's going to wind up incomplete. Not much time remaining. Time for one more snap here in this first half. As a pass rusher, you don't always need to record a sack to make your presence felt. Creating pressure, move the quarterback, affect his timing. Those are all different ways to take pressure off your coverage unit. Watson now on third down. He'll take a shot here. Back to the end zone. And penalty flags come in as it winds up incomplete, but no doubt there was contact there. Justin Hopkins on now for the field goal. This about as short as you can get. Hopkins' kick is good. And the Browns cut the deficit a bit. The new score is now 21 to 10. All right, Mike, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our halftime report. We saw the vet with plenty left. Ezekiel Elliott putting together a strong first half. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. The second half is straight ahead. Time to get back to it. And for the call, let's rejoin Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. All right, Coach. Thank you very much. We welcome you back. It is quarter number three. Here's Hines now to return be brought down past the 25 decent field position to start this drive the Browns offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter they look to make some inroads here they're down 21 to 10 in this one as they come up on a first down he'll be hit as he throws and that one will wind up incomplete could not step into the throw that time it'll bring up second down Gun Watson. Quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. Pick up the intended target there. Third down coming up. They're trying to take the top off the defense, make them feel that vertical threat, and soften everything up. Wasn't a ton of separation downfield, at least not what they would have preferred, and 
ended up being a wasted down. To his tight end, Mujoku. And he'll be stopped short of the first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. The drag route is such a good way to get the ball early into the hands of your tight end and take some pressure off the quarterback and give him an easy completion. The size and the athleticism allows them to try to pick up more yards, but do it after the catch. Oh, how about the coverage there? Met and dropped before he can get a return go. So they come to the line for first down and 10. No play action. It's Prescott. He's going to tuck it in go. And he's going to be marked down up around the 33. Good job breaking the pocket and going for 14 yards. And most importantly, a first down. We've seen this quarterback have some effective plays with his legs all game today, Mike. He knows when to stay in there and look to pass, but he also knows when it's time to tuck it and go, and he's able to pick up a good yardage there. And he'll manage to pick up about four. Jeremiah Wusu koromoa in on the stop. A second and six. From the shotgun, it's down. There's that man again. Another catch. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Prescott to his main man, Lamb. CD gets the Cowboys a first down. Well, it goes without saying. You want to play wide receiver in the NFL, Mike. How well can you change directions? How fast can you get your body from one direction to another? And when you can cut like this guy, I'm not sure how you guard him. versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground in line, but they can occasionally split out in the slot. And man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times, they're too big for defensive backs. On second down, it's down. That's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by Juan Thornhill. Of this offensive coordinator. He's saying, listen, I'm not looking to preserve this lead. I'm looking to extend my lead. Now, that aggressive play calling in this case led to the turnover. Now your defense has to take the field. Can they bail you out and keep this lead unchanged prior to their next possession? Now it's the Browns' turn as they get set to take over again on offense. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and ten. Four here, up to the 24-yard line. On second down, here's Watson. That's complete to Moore on the right side. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. They'll try and run it here and it's Chubb. He's going to have a bounce first down. There's the run on that third and one.
Moore going in motion. They run on the jet sweep. He's able to get away for one man, but those reinforcements, they got there quick. Take him down behind the line. To throw on second down is Watson. He'll get that into the hands of Nick Chubb. He's taken down first shot of midfield. It's a pickup of 12. It's a Browns first down. On the ground, it's Chubb. He looks forward for maybe a yard. The veteran Eric Hendricks on the stop. Here's Watson now on second down. There's a short throw caught by the junkie. And move this one down inside the 40-yard line. That's a gain of 15. First down, Cleveland. Not every pass has to be thrown downfield. You can rely on the run after catch, especially a big body like this tight end. Get the ball in his hands early and let him pick up the rest after the catch. First and 10 now from the 36. Here's Chubb. Oh, yeah. Just pushing guys away as he takes this forward for a gain of seven. The joke to the tight end is the one in motion. It's Watson. That one complete to Moore. He'll be out of bounds, but after picking up the first down on a gain of seven. The drag route is certainly not the most complicated route on the route tree, but a really nice job there using the scheme to create separation. He did a really nice job there working across the middle of the field as he made himself open. On first down, it's Watson. Knocked away. It's incomplete. Amari Cooper was the man he was looking for. It's second down. So I like the aggressiveness of the call, but as the rest of the game unfolds, Mike, there needs to be better overall execution. A little bit cleaner. Next thing you know, they're going to hit some of those big shots. From the shotgun, here's Watson. That's over the wall to his tight end, the Joker. He's taken down just shy of the 10. Second time they've hooked up on this drive. This one good for 12 and a first down. When you put plays like this on tape, it sends a message to every defender across the league. When you play this offense and this guy has the ball, you better bring it when you come to contact him because if not, you're going to be on the wrong end. That's the way you want to run it on first down. A gain of seven. too often that was an important drive that one really felt important for them to edge a little bit closer yeah now the question is mike yeah the offense does their job but can the defense get a stop they've got to continue to get the ball back to their offense let them build on that previous drive because they've still got some work to do they'll go for two as watson brings the browns to the line once again it's chuck and he will find the end zone again so he gets the touchdown and the 
two-point conversion. We call it the octopus. And it cuts the deficit down a bit first. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kicks away. From the six, here comes a return. And this is not going to wind up anywhere near the landing zone. So they're going to throw it dead. And they'll bring the ball out to start at the 40-yard line. Set to go now on first and ten. Operating from the gun, here's Gallup. It's not so much that that's who they're responsible for, but it sets the responsibilities of all the protectors. But in this case, the Mike was the one who came, so clearly either the running back missed his call or the offensive line didn't do their job. Because either way, somebody has to have him accounted for, and instead, they take the sack. Catch is made. That is Schoonmaker. been tight so far a field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and ten they'll start on the ground with Chubb and stretching it out toward the sideline but the defense gets to him he'll be taken down for a loss anytime the running back is forced to chop his feet in the background and never get to top speed you know that play is not going anywhere that's exactly what the defense was able to force here by getting penetration Great job there, stopping this play before he had a chance to even get started. Shotgun snap to Watson. Off balance throw. It's complete. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. here first and ten so we are through three we'll return with more after this this is the NFL on EA Sports And that 
is it. Depending on the situation or the down and distance, Mike, the linebackers have different reads. Sometimes they read the offensive lineman. Sometimes they read the running back. In this case, his read brings him right to the play. He's able to make a big stop and keep the game to nothing. The throw taken in by Judy. And nice work there after the catch. He's a little short of the first down after a gain of seven. They'll come up to third and three. They'll keep it on the ground. Big time stop there, Mike, on third down. Now it sets up a fourth down decision for this head coach. Do I want to be aggressive and extend this drive, hopefully taking the lead? Or am I content just sending out my field goal unit and trying to make this all square? I think at this stage in the second half, tie the game up. Hopefully my defense can get me the ball back and find a way to win here in the second half. trust Mike I mean this is as big a spot as there is fourth quarter what does he do he comes out and he delivers to tie up this game on the return here's Turpin they finally get him down but he gets all the way up close to the 40 yard line from the 39 here's a first and 10 receiver out there watching this guy run routes he has the defender thinking everything is a go ball attack him vertically and then when you get to your route depth you stick that foot in the ground you break in balls on time results in a nice first down pick up let's start again and this takes him into the red zone he's brought down inside the 20 yard line he's over 100 receiving yards on the afternoon now and a first down to boot you want to be a star in the nfl mike these are the high pressure moments that you can't shy away from the greats they embrace it tie ball game fourth quarter the game is on the line everyone in the stadium knows where that to the goal line and in brandon cooks touchdown cowboy Greg, every touchdown counts the same, but the ones you get in the fourth quarter, they are the ones that feel a little more important. Yeah, now the pressure shifts to your defense. Your offense was able to go out and get the lead here late. Does your defense have enough left in them to get one more stop? for the PAT is Aubrey. He gets it to go. And 
and the Cowboys go up by seven. 28 to 21. So the lead is seven now. Here in this fourth quarter, the tie has been broken. Let's see what happens on this kickoff. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The home team's offense ready to take over once more. They'll start out first down and 10. He'll start this drive by keeping it himself. And he'll be taken down around the 29 yard line. They went to the design quarterback run, and there just wasn't a lot of space for the quarterback to operate. You can see him kind of waiting for some of the blocks to develop. Never transpired. Didn't get a whole lot going. Short game. Out of the gun, Watson. The second down throw is incomplete. I think that play probably results in a completion if that protection just holds up a little bit longer. It was that initial pressure in the face of the quarterback that forced him to get rid of that ball a little bit earlier than he wanted. Disrupts that timing, ruins the play. Throwing on third down, Watson. To the outside, the pass made by Moore. 15 yards, through the end. It's a Browns first down. This pass defense, it, it just has to be better than this, Mike. They have to do a better job accounting for everybody in their coverages. Seems like they got a little lazy. They got locked in on maybe one or two of the offensive targets. They have to play their defense exactly according to the plan. Because if not, this quarterback has enough weapons. He can spread the ball out and find the open space. He'll run. And he surges for, for a game of a five. to throw is Watson. He gets this one to Moore. And the whistle down before he picks up the first down after a gain of seven. Back to throw is Watson. Gain of 24 through the air. First down, Cleveland. Just a great example of not only the anticipation, but the instincts to go break that pass up. Mike, you can see he's clearly looking at the quarterback's eyes. And once that ball was delivered, he's just attacking it and breaking it up. They'll stick to the ground. He's to the ten. Touchdown of the afternoon. A huge touchdown there in the fourth quarter. And now just a point away from tying the game. And that's one of those drives, Mike, where you know your best is needed. Can you come through here late and give your team a chance? They're an extra point away from tying this thing up. And we got ourselves a ball game.
So they're not level yet. A critical extra point attempt to follow. The kick is good. And that will tie this game here in the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter, everything we've wanted. What's in store in the remaining time? He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. Take a look at his receiving them. So he has been terrific. Over 100 yards in this one. Operating from their own 23, they'll begin first and 10. In the middle of the field, it's taken by C.D. Lamb. And it'll be taken down up past the 40-yard line. An even 20 yards impressive start to this drive. First and 10. Zeke. And he finds a little bit of space. He'll take this forward for a gain of four. to a successful screenplay. They have to balance this fine line between stopping the defensive lineman for getting to the quarterback too quick, but also let that defensive lineman think he's got a free rush at the quarterback. That's the balance and the timing that made this play so successful, and they're able to pick up the first down. for the extra point. He's got it. Now 
Cowboys will go up by seven. So the lead is seven now. Here in this fourth quarter, the tie has been broken. Let's see what happens on this kickoff. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The whole team's offense getting their final instruction before heading back onto the field. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. From the shotgun, here's Watson. That's thrown right side, but incomplete. We'll try again here, second and ten. To throw is Watson. That's over the middle to his tight end, Njoku. now on third down. Back into the hands of Judy on the right side. He's going to have the first down. So they convert on third down with a pickup of nine. Nothing a quarterback loves more, Mike, than being able to pick up a first down without being forced to push the ball downfield and force it past the line to gain. He settles for the underneath check down. He's confident that his receiver is going to pick up the rest after the catch. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. Again, it's Watson. That's caught this side by Cooper. And they bring him down, but not until he crosses midfield. 11 yards on the connection there. It's a Browns first down. Again is Watson. It was a short throw caught by Njoku. And it will be hauled down at about the 35 yard line. Nice chunk here in this good looking drive. Pick up a 14 and a first down. So two minutes left to play in the second half. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. Plenty of time, all three timeouts left. It's first and ten. They'll drop to throw. He'll tuck it and take off. And they bring him down inside the 25 yard line. Give him 11 on the scramble and give them a new set of downs. A quarterback who can extend the play with his legs, Mike, is just such a key element to today's modern offenses. You can see there was nowhere for him to go with the ball, but he decides to turn into a... Oh, the pressure too much. He goes down. Certainly hasn't been their best game in terms of rushing the passer, but you find yourself with the lead here in the fourth quarter. No better time for that pass rush to come alive and see if they can close this game out. Here comes second down. Shotgun snap to Watson. Toward the middle of the field that time, but incomplete. Defense has a chance to all but end this game, but they can't secure the interception, and now the offense has new life. But is there enough time? Do they have enough opportunity still to find themselves in position to go try to pull this one out? Going to need a big play now. Third down and long. Now sets up a screen for Chuck. And he'll gain some yardage here, but that is not nearly enough for the first down. So it's going to bring up fourth down. Anytime you call a running back screen, the key is the relationship between the offensive line and the running back. They have to be in sync perfectly to set up the big play. That wasn't the case here on third down. He gets tackled short of the sticks. That's going to be caught. And this is not going to do it. The defense comes through here in the final minute. 
And it may just be enough to get them a victory. So you roll the dice on offense and you fail. But now you can't give up. Your defense has to go out there and get a stop. You have all three timeouts. You have time to get the ball back one more time on offense. So now your defense needs to answer the bell and give your offense one more shot. The drive starts with a run, and it's Elliott. And he'll manage to get this ahead for a pickup of five. formation here as he's down to an eight. 